For this recipe, we're gonna be using one loaf of French bread, half a cup of brown sugar, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a fourth a cup of butter, that's margarine, not real butter, two cups of vanilla almond milk, I just had regular, and six eggs. First, we're gonna cut the bread loaf into large chunks and put it into a large bowl. I tried to make them all uniform, but you know, not perfect. There they are, they look kinda nice. Then, in another bowl, you're gonna mix the eggs, almond milk, and cinnamon together, and that's six eggs, two cups of almond milk, and one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. And that does look like a lot of cinnamon, but it ended up being the perfect amount. And then you're gonna pour the egg mixture over the bread chunks. Then you're gonna put the butter, brown sugar, and vanilla extract into a smaller bowl. Mix all of that together until it's well combined. And this is like your topping um, to the bread. So you're gonna cover both of those bowls and put them in the refrigerator overnight. Hey guys! Megan. Hey guys! Hey guys. <laughs> here, come here. Hey guys! Hey guys! Um, so it's morning, it's the next day. Um, I'm gonna put the French toast in my crock pot here. So, yeah, now you kinda get to see me since it's not nighttime and everything. I'm gonna get the bowls out of the refrigerator and get the crock pot going and yeah. We've got the goods. So the recipe says to pour bread mix into greased slow cooker. Crumble butter sugar mix over the top. Cover and cook on low for four hours or high for two hours. So, that's what we're gonna do. There's the empty bowl. And I'm just gonna kinda mix it around with my hand to see if I can get some of that mixture all over the bread. Cause I want it coated pretty good. So I think that's good. So now we take butter mixture, which looks like um, it's kind of separated a little bit, so. Kind of mix it in there. And then we're going to crumble it on the top. Try to get all of that yummy goodness. that in there. Now we're gonna close the lid. Plug her in. All right, so that is it. That is all that I have to do. Just stick it in the crock pot, which is amazing. And then just wait a couple hours for it to be done. Hopefully it turns out better than the last time I made it. I think the last time, I put the bread chunks in two tiny pieces. So, yeah, we're gonna see how this works. I'm so excited. I will let you guys know what it looks like when it's done and how it tastes and all that good stuff. So, yeah. All right, so it is 12.06, so I'm going to fix my lunch. It's time for me to eat my first meal or eat my first bite of anything, really. So I'm very excited about this. And we're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully well. This may be more than a full serving. I am unsure. You can kind of see there. 
it still kind of looks like there's a lot in the crock pot so I'm gonna say that's maybe one and a half servings I don't know this is the only syrup I have in the house right now uh, maple syrup would have probably been the better choice but I'm gonna drizzle a little bit over it and yeah I am so excited well as you can see that was really good a plus to this recipe um, it's super easy I mean you literally just throw everything together basically and put it in the crock pot and then just let it cook so that was really good um, it is really filling because it is you know French toast bread so to those of you out there that like sweet stuff that like um, French toast try this recipe out it's really good um, if you're a busy mom you can throw it in the crock pot you're good to go it's a really good recipe so thanks Carrie Underwood for sharing this I'm pretty sure she shared this recipe in like a people holiday magazine where they had like different recipes and stuff um, but yeah if I can find the link to the recipe I'll try my best but we'll see I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Peace out.